Hey guys, Tech Manchino with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the gold edition of the iPhone 13 Pro that came out last year. We did a similar unboxing for the Sierra Blue color, which was the very first one we got, but then we decided to get this one because, of course, this one is the gold one that you guys have been asking for, and this is an upgraded model for the 512 gig. So, of course, these come in the 128 gig, but if you pay $300 extra you can get more storage which really makes a difference as you can see here the gold one comes in the same exact box as the blue one there's no really difference between the boxes same exact box but of course the gold itself is unique you'll notice here the print here is raised for the print texture in the past we've seen that it wasn't even there with the picture so that's the first thing you'll notice here and then turning back this around you'll notice here on the back here it's going to be now these tabs that you pull off here and then this one we ordered when we unboxed it it slightly got a little scrapped here on the box here so don't mind that and then here just to show you guys this is the 512 gig one you can also get this at the max terabyte which was introduced to be one terabyte for the very first time on the iphone so 512 gig is a lot and this is why we're doing the unboxing and then you can see the gold color as well so we're going to go ahead and take the tabs off here and then the bottom tab here and then go about unboxing this right cool so as you can see here that's the gold one right off the bat and similarly the blue one here when you unboxed it just like that and we'll do a little bit more in-depth unboxing where we compare the colors but let's take a look at the gold one here when you take it out of the package you'll get this and of course this sticker on it and then in the box what you get is the USB type C charger so these chargers are different they're not the ones that in the past if you have the USB ones that plug in these are going to be different so you got that port and then this one so you need to get an adapter like this one which is not included this is a power or the wall adapter this is a 20 watt one which is recommended if you want to be able to charge from 0 to 50 percent in 30 minutes so highly recommend get the, getting this one which is 30 bucks I believe 29.99 something like that you can probably find it cheaper but if you're getting it from Apple you'll need one of this and it's something that we found that really helps if you're using an old charger it's so much uh, slower and then of course the pamphlet here we have that's the sim ejector tool and then a couple things and then the sticker notice and that so you'll need this again if you're going to be putting your sim card in the phone which if you don't or are going to be transferring and highly recommend take that and then use that to take the sim card tray which we'll show you in a second so that's what's included in the box no headphones or AirPods. So if you're looking for the AirPods or something like that, you're not going to be getting any of that stuff. So that's the only thing you get in the box. So we're going to go ahead and close the box so we can take a look at the phone itself. So here's the phone, the gold one. This is the Pro one, not the Pro Max, so not to be confused. This is the 6.1 inch display one that we have here. And as you can see, these cameras again, huge cameras here in the back the gold one has been a solid color and it's similar gold shade that we've seen with the 12 as well so if you had a 12 gold you'll notice it's the same exact build here you got these flat edges all the way around that are shiny they are slightly different gold than the gold on the actual matte bag this is more of a matte gold but here's the gold here at a closer look can see here it looks like when you're touching it it looks like fingerprint gets on it but it's probably erasable and then here so this is where the sim ejector is if you want to take your sim card simply pop that tool in this hole and put your sim card in if you're transferring your sim card over you can see the buttons here and the silent button and then the side button and then this is the 5G antenna so if you see this this is the US model you know if you're out of the US or countries other countries you may not have the 5G support which I'm not really sure why that's the case but US is the mo US models have 5G on it and then the charge port here and then we're going to go ahead and take this white sticker off and take a closer look you also notice as we power 
this device on. So you know, if you need to power it on, you can hold the side button here until you see the Apple logo and then you let go of it. And that's how you're going to be powering on iPhone 13. And you notice here this notch, which is much smaller now than the 12 lineup, probably one of the biggest things talked about. And then that hello animation is because it's running on iOS 15 now. And here, as you can see, we just swipe up and then we select our language, check our region, and set up manually. When you first set it up with any Apple device, you need to connect to Apple old server by getting onto the internet either through Wi-Fi or you can connect it to your Mac or PC and use iTunes or Finder or you can use simply use cellular connection. So we're going to use Wi-Fi here. So I'm going to type in the demo Wi-Fi password and we walk you guys through this in another video where we talk about how to set up iPhone 13 Pro properly and of course you're going to make sure you start with the right password to your Wi-Fi. All right, second try here. There's no internet connection. All right, that's probably just a f false notice. And then we're going to hit that next button. Now, this is what we mentioned here. When you set up a new iPhone, if it's a real Apple product, it will go out, talk with the Apple server to make sure that there's no lock or anything like that on the device here. And then it will allow us to activate it. So just a quick look at the phone here. Again, the phone is very lightweight in terms of the phone here so as you see here we have face id we're not going to set this up but basically it's a way to you know, unlock your phone to do apple pay and just being locking and doing other services and then the passcode all of this we're simply not setting up just so you can get to the home screen and take a quick look at the iphone 13 pro here so we can hit agree continue continue okay So there we are at the main screen here. As you mentioned here, the iPhone 13 Pro here, this 6.1 inch display, that smaller top notch, which gives the phone a really good screen to body ratio, close to around just a little over 87%. Now you do have 5G, which is the other premium feature. And we're gonna go ahead and compare the, the gold one with the blue one as promised. So the Sierra Blue is the new it is the new color that was introduced in this lineup, but even now, this week, Apple released the fifth color because you can get this in, of course, the gold and your silver and space gray, which are the base color. And then this blue one, which is a premium color that was also announced as a fourth color. Now, this week, Apple announced the Alpine green as well, which we'll get a hand of and do unboxing soon once we get that order delivered to us which is a little bit taking a little bit more time and you see here the blue and the gold here so I want you guys to put a comment in the comment section on what color you like do you like the blue or uh, the red here or the gold here sorry um, but see what you guys say blue or gold leave a comment in the comment section with your favorite color here and this is where Things get interesting so as you can see here of course both of the phones will be the same exact phone but all in all I'm not holding them too closely just so that they don't scratch each other out so that's going to be size between these two phones of course a couple of the features like the cinematic mode and photographic style you can just choose a style and then sh show you guys this n new feature that cinematic video mode that allows you to take in-depth pictures that's where that comes in As you see here that high quality Apple grade cameras on it and this model as you mentioned if we didn't this is the 1299 model plus tax and this is the 512 gig here of course the pro motion screen here with that 128 refresh rate as you see here when you're scrolling on the phone, it's simply just super smooth and buttery. As you'll notice here, we'll do an in-depth video on the comparison between a 60 hertz versus 120 hertz. To some, it might not really make a difference, but the others, it might make a big difference here. So that's where we're going to be having the phone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Gold iPhone 13 Pro. And as I mentioned, leave a comment on the section if you like the gold or the blue. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.